take agronomists and farmers through and show them the pointy end of our pipeline. We like to show them as much as we can before release so they've got some familiarity with the product before it, it gets released uh, so that they know how to go and run with it as soon as it is released. It's something we do every year. We invite agronomists, consultants, resellers to come and look at the work we do. A lot of the stuff that we have here is commercially relevant. We try and showcase what we have one to two years out from when we actually launch products. All our fungicide, insecticide and herbicide work for Broadacre is done here at Hallbury. Its annual rainfall is just under 450 mils but really reliable throughout the growing season. So we sow single lines of particular species that we can get hold of. Some of them are actual weed species and some of them are, are indicator species and some of them are just crops to measure selectivity. This year I've got some actual wild radish that I've, I've managed to get and, and sown. We've also got a really good germination of Indian hedge mustard. As an indicator weed we've used coriander, which is closely related to Bifora and it's a good indicator of the level of activity you might get on Bifora, which is a pretty important weed here in South Australia. And then we've got some medic, and then we've got a legume screen, peas, lentils and chickpeas generally. We can run with Group B sensitive or Group B tolerant canola. We generally finish that off with some cereals out the back just to measure selectivity as well, so how, how safe it is to those crops. Paradigms would be the oldest one that we're just finessing out. Rexade and Pixaro are, are slightly younger Aralex concepts that we're still working with and Gallery, which is new in to this broadacre market that we're chasing at the moment. We've also got some fungicide work here that uh, that particular fungicide is a brand new mode of action for um, Australian broadacre. With Pixari, you might opt to go for that because you want to drop out the group B and go for just a straight group I. But in that situation, you won't pick up brassicas. So in that situation, what do we need to add to get brassica control? So that's, that's where we might look at mixed partner type uh, demos. And that's been really interesting for growers and agronomists. The information that we pass on to them is invaluable for them to be able to help them make decisions about their agronomy and product choices. And we found over the years that it's really helped us position our products, they can leave here with a good understanding of you know, where they need to be utilising and, and using our products.